Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Amber, the 6th studio record by the band Breaking Benjamin. Today we're celebrating the 5th anniversary of the record, so I've decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. I've been listening to Breaking Benjamin since 2005 because of the video game Halo 2. Their song Blow Me Away is featured on the soundtrack. It plays during the final mission in the game. I've already reviewed Saturate last year for its 20th anniversary, it's my favorite Breaking Benjamin record, so I'm happy to review this one as well. Since Dark Before Dawn we have a completely new lineup, here it is. We've got Sean on the drums, Aaron on the bass, Kit and Jason on guitars, and as usual, Benjamin on the vocals and rhythm guitar. What's interesting about this record is that 5 songs were written by the entire lineup and only 4 just by Benjamin. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping. I wish it had more of a live feeling to it, like the first Breaking Benjamin records, but it's still great. Message is diverse. Songs are mostly about personal struggles, relationship issues, phobias, stuff like that. Classic Benjamin. Structure of the songs is basic, standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, and music is a mix between alternative metal, nu metal, alt rock, stuff like that. The album starts with an intro, Lyra, which morphs into Feed the Wolf. I must say that I don't care for these intros, I wish that albums would start just with music, but this one is actually very nice, it transitions very well into the next song. 6 out of 10, Feed the Wolf is an actual song and the first thing you're going to notice is that the old school sound of Breaking Benjamin is back, the guitars sound crisp and they are heavy, the bass work is audible but there's not much of it, the drumming is phenomenal throughout the entire record, and Ben's vocals sound great as usual. Feed the Wolf is my favorite song because it sounds like it was made in 2004. I just love the composition, the instrumental work and the vocals. I love every second of it. 11 out of 10. Red, red, red cold river is the third song on the record and it's my second favorite one. I just love the vocals by Ben here. Red! <laughs> and the instrumental work is flawless as usual. I'm just so happy to hear these kind of songs. Ben mentioned in the interviews that they've made this record more heavier because the fans wanted it and the band wanted to make some bangers as well. And it's true, it's so fun listening to tracks like this one. 10 out of 10. Tourniquet and Psycho are slightly worse from the previous songs, it's because of the choruses. They are okay, but not as good as the rest of the songs, you know? 8 out of 10. The Dark of You features Derek as the guest vocalist, and I must say that this is the weakest song on the record, I just don't enjoy it. I don't like the instrumental work, the vocals are okay, they are good but they cannot save me from boredom. I don't feel this one at all. 4 out of 10. Down is the second weakest track here. While I enjoy the verses, I really dislike the chorus. It gets on my nerves. 6 out of 10. Torn in 2, on the other hand, is a banger. I love the verses. The chorus is great. Some of the vocals are not for me, but overall, I think it's a strong song and I'm happy that it's here. 9 out of 10. Blood is another highlight of this record. I love the vocals, the energy of the instruments and just the overall vibe is just so strong. Ben is killing it with his singing and screaming and growling. 10 out of 10. Save Yourself is a song written just by Ben and it proves you that he still has it because this is a masterpiece. My fourth favorite song on this record. Everything just works here. The vocals, the instrumental work. 10 out of 10. Close Your Eyes is kinda similar to the song Down, because I enjoy the verses, the chorus not so much, but I think this song is better than Down. So 7 out of 10. And the album ends with an outro called Vega. I must say that 
I don't enjoy this one. It's okay, but I wish it did not exist. 5 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is various and the flow is digestible. Replayability, yeah. It's a great record. It has some very epic songs like Feed the Wolf, Red Cold River, Red Cold River, Save Yourself, Blood, Turn Into. Those are bangers, I highly recommend listening to them. I feel like this is the second best Breaking Benjamin album because of its intensity and variety in the sounds. There are some heavy songs here, some softer ones. This record is nowhere near the quality of Saturate, but I still think it's amazing. Celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today, it deserves some love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, links in the description, and I will see you in my other videos, bye!